All right, hello everybody. How y'all doing today? God is a good God. He's a wonderful God. He is a way maker. Today, we are getting in the boat over here to read the Bible. We're going out to the sea for a few minutes, long enough for us to read the Bible. Ha <laughs> ha! God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Glory to God. Would you like to hold the Bible for me, sweetheart? Hallelujah. <laughs> this is fun, y'all. This is fun. Look at this. God is good. So y'all know, uh, on the 28th, at 3 p.m. Uh, Filipino time, we will be having the marriage live streaming, as well as uh, in California, it will be, what, uh, 5 a.m. on the 29th. And in Michigan time, it will be... Michigan time, it will be 3 a.m. Okay, dear Heavenly Father God, we glorify you, magnify you, and praise you, Father God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for everything that you've given us, that you continue to bless us with, Father God. We ask that you continue to bless our marriage, Father God. Keep us as one, Father God, one body, one soul, one spirit, one mind, one heart, Father God. Entwine us in your love to love us, each other as you love us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you bless this reading today. <laughs> That you'll give us your understanding by your truth and your wisdom. That we may be able to walk even as you are in your Holy Spirit, Father God. Let us be fruitful with your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, let y'all see the surrounding area. It is amazing out here. Oh, glory to God. Oh. Woohoo! Yeah! Ow! Okay, we're going to be reading in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. He says, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long in his kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never fell, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. But we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. But now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abide in faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. See my beautiful wife? And here I am, hallelujah. How are y'all doing today? And we're going to let the beautiful wife read a scripture today, too. Oh, sweet. 
pretty hard. This is my first time going on a boat like this in the middle of, of an ocean. I figure what the hey, I'm out here. I done took a whole bunch of dangerous turns and a whole bunch of dangerous things I've done did since I've been out here doing this journey. To God be the glory. We went out the other day and we passed out uh, 16 bags of food to 16 families in need. Hallelujah. God be the glory. Each one of them was either widowed, one of them, there, there was some that was mental, there was some that we just found on the side of the road walking down the street. To God be the glory. That we were able to be here and be a blessing to them. It's not uh Pray to be to God, we'll be able to be a blessing continuously. You see, I'm going to start a, a, a fund me page for the, uh, the people out here in the Philippines that are without. There, I found out that it's very expensive for them to get Bibles. So a lot of people don't have Bibles out here. And as y'all know, God Matters Ministry is based upon the Bible, the Word of God, hallelujah. So, God put it on my heart to start a funding page that we're able to get a whole bunch of Bibles together and pass them out to those who cannot afford Bibles, those who do not have Bibles, and as well as, you know, maybe even help them out with food, those that are in need. Maybe I'll be able to help out some people uh, disasters, you know. There's a lot of typhoons out here. Everything that we do, it will be transparent. You will see what happens with the money. I will show you me buying the stuff. I will show you the receipts. I will show you me passing the food out. I'll show you me out there helping them. If not me, it'll be my beautiful wife that God has blessed me with. But these are the things that God has put on my heart for God Matters Ministry to do. Hallelujah. <laughs> James 1. Remember, you got to read loud enough, close enough to it, that they can hear it. Wife is a bit shy, so she doesn't want to read just yet. She'll, she's coming around, so and she has read. Me and her read together often, very often. Okay. So in James chapter one, he he's telling us about how we have to have faith for whatever we ask for. If we ask for something in faith. And if that we believe of what we ask for, if we believe in the one who saved us, that he will provide for those things that we ask of. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work is patience. So we have to have patience knowing that we're going to go through times, trials, we're going through tribulations, we're going to go through uh, temptations, you know. But if we are able to uh, stand firm in our faith, able to stand firm in those things that God has taught us, able to turn about ourselves and keep ourselves in the firm faith that is given us, understanding of the world, then we'll receive the crown of righteousness. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, once ye do nothing. So he's telling us, have patience, be thankful, be in the moment, show love. 
up. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives the man liberally and upbraided not him. It shall be given. So he's confirming us with our faith. He's telling us if we ask God anything, he's not going to take it away, but he's going to bless us with wisdom. He's going to bless us with understanding. He will bless us with knowledge. He will bless us with the love that we so desire. But see, the blessing is it, not to hold in. It's to let it flow out as a, a flowing river, as this water continues on. It continues on. It never stops. As Christ Jesus said, he's the same yesterday, today, and will be the same tomorrow. So our love, our compassion, our mercy must stay the same. It shall not change as we have the Savior Christ in us. But let him ask in faith, nothing waver. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of all degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it withers the grass, and the flower thereof falls, and the grace of the passion of it perish. So also shall the rich man fade away in his way. Blessed is the man that incurs temptation. He said, blessed is the man that endures temptation. I'm not just talking about the lust of your eyes when you look upon a woman to deny yourself, but I'm talking about the anger inside your heart uh, that you get these emotional feelings, uh, these urges to go against God and go with the beastly old man uh, that we are able to be, be humble, to humble ourselves, to abase ourselves, that God does not abase us. But we are to abase ourselves, humble ourselves, slow to speak, uh, slow to anger, quick to hear. We have to remember the Word of God as we have so read the Word of God, as we have so exalted the Word of God in us. Let's not turn about ourselves as if we were not the children of God, but let us continue in our firm faith and be in loving, compassion, merciful, understanding. We have to have the mind of Christ as he has given us. And the power thereof falleth, and the grace of the passion of it there. So also shall the rich man fade away in his way. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. So we have to understand <coughs> that God will not tempt us, but as we have been enticed of, our, of the lust of our old man, it will cause us to turn about ourselves as we are not the children of God. We have to know the voice of God and the voice of man. We have to know the voice of God and the voice of the Antichrist. We have to know the voice of God and the voice of the devil. And we know that the voice of God will not tempt us. We know that the voice of the, the Spirit of God will not lead us astray. It will not lead us in the wrong way. It will not lead us to be hateful, to be harmful, to be hurtful. It will not lead us to want to uh, be lustful. But the Spirit of God, we know the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is joy, long-suffering, peace, gentleness, compassion, mercy. Let 
no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man when he is tempted, when he is drawn up, but every man that is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and his God. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. He's saying, we're still brothers. We're still brothers in Christ. Don't go astray. Don't be about that beastly man. Hold it. 
I'm learning a lot of the language, and it's pretty awesome too. Uh, this language is actually a lot like uh, Espanol. You know, they, they say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. They say uh, work is trabajo, you know. There's a few other words that, uh, like como esta, that means hello, as well as, um, now, not to say uh, good morning, it's maayon, uh, what, what was it? Buntag, buntag, maayon buntag, then there's maayon hapun, and then it's maayon aki, and that's good night. <laughs> It is so awesome out here. God is good. Now I'm gonna keep y'all on until we get back to the shore. Just so that way y'all can enjoy the beautiful scene. I wish we had music out here. I'd play it for you. But we're on a fishing boat. And you know, <laughs> it's funny that we're on a fishing boat because Christ Jesus, he asked the fishermen to follow him and they just put down everything they had they put it all down they got out the boat they left their dad and they followed him ah to god be the glory he said now i'm gonna make you a fisher of men <laughs> ah glory be to god hallelujah praise you lord I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on the Lord. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I've been singing and dancing with my mind, stayed on Jesus. I've been singing and dancing with my mind, stayed on the Lord. I've been singing and dancing with my mind, stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory. God bless you all. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let's pray to be to God that we can love each other as much if not more than he has loved us and continues to love us. Let's pray that he keeps us safe always and that he keeps us protected, that he puts a, a, a barrier around us that nothing may come against us and nothing shall prosper that may try to come against us but that we can continue to stay in the faith. Uh, let's pray that we can keep his mind and stay with the urge and desire to seek his word and to remember his word. Let's pray that we may uh, stay in his spirit and, and not forget to be forgetful prayers. Ah, come on now. See, we speak about so many things, but we forget to remind each other that we need to be uh, very prayerful. Huh? We got to continue to be prayerful. We need to pray for one another. We need to pray for each other. We need to pray for our families. We need to pray for our countries. We need to pray for the love of God. We need to pray for our health. We need to pray for our prosperity. We need to pray. We need to be prayerful. We're on a fishing boat today. And we're fishing for men. We're fishing for you right now. By the grace of God, by His Holy Spirit. We're on a fishing boat, fishing for your soul to be saved in this day. And if you don't know who Christ Jesus is, understand that Christ Jesus is our Lord and Savior. He walked on this earth as you and I walk on this earth this day right now. He was tempted like you and me 
get tempted every single day. He overcame the temptation by the Spirit of God that gave him the strength. The same Spirit that He has given us and ordained us with. He took it upon Himself to be the way by showing us how to act, how to react, how to respond, how to think, how to feel for one another. We cursed Him. We spat on Him. We beat Him. We killed Him. As He hung on the cross for us, He had no grudge towards us. He even asked Father God that His will be done and not that He may live in this body, but that His will be done, not that He may live in the flesh. So He even overcame temptation by not responding or reacting or holding a grudge towards us as we mistreated Him, as we hurt Him. But yet He had compassion on His heart for us in those moments Enough to ask our Father God to forgive us because we knew not what we were doing. Even our Father God said, I looked down on them and I noticed that they don't know my love. They had not known my love and they cannot know my love. So he sent his son that we may know his love, that we may also be his love. And He gave us the Word of God that we may come to the understanding. And He hung on that cross and said, Father God, forgive them for them. They know not what they do. And He even came back to prove to us that life is everlasting. To prove to us that we can walk in His Spirit. That all things are possible. This is our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Now we also have Mother Mary. Yeah, I'm going to get back into it too. You see, all Christianities have their faith. And Mother Mary was amazing also. You see, Mother Mary, she, she had an angel come down to her. And her faith was so strong that this angel told her, Hey, you're going to have a baby by a spirit. You're going to have a seed by a spirit. Not by a man, but by a spirit. You're going to have a seed. And he's going to grow to be the savior of the world. And she just said, okay. She didn't question. She didn't ask anything. She says, okay. She even almost lost her husband over it. Because her husband figured, oh no, this can't be. So then God sent his angels to her husband and reminded his husband her husband and said I need you to be the father I need you to be the dad of this child and to take care of this woman so he did John the Baptist his dad questioned the faith and he took away his voice God took away his voice because he questioned the faith. Mother Mary didn't question. <laughs> she got to keep her voice, God, to be the glory. <laughs> and she had our Savior. So we have to understand the great faith. The great faith that Christ Jesus was trying to teach us is teaching us. The same faith that Mother Mary had is the faith that Christ Jesus came to save us and to give us and to teach us. I have learned so many things. You see, Christ Jesus, He came not to destroy anybody's faith, but He came to fulfill it. He came not to 
trash them or destroy them because of their faith and their religions. But he wanted them to gain a new heart that they may know to love one another in this faith, in these traditions. Tradition is not a bad thing as long as we use it for good and not bad. As long as we don't believe that we can condemn somebody, because we can't. All we do is err within ourselves. We err within ourselves and turn about ourselves as if we're not the children of God. We cannot condemn another person. Only thing we can do is choose to be astray and allow ourselves to be in condemnation because our heart had deceived us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we'll be having a wedding, and it's going to be a traditional wedding, on March 28th, 3 p.m., here in the Philippines. If you're in California, in the United States of America, well, it's going to be 5 a.m. on the 29th. If you're up north, in the Michigan area, around the Michigan area, in the United States of America... It'll be 5, or no, 3 a.m. on the 29th. So please come join us live streaming for this wedding because God had entwined us to be the ministry. I've been doing this ministry since 2014 by myself. I've had help here and there, but none of them stayed. Well, this woman here, I believe, is different. Because I, actually I know she's different. And that's the reason why. She's going to stay. She will be the first lady of God Matters Ministry. To God be the glory. 